Hey guys, welcome back to my shoppings. Today we're testing out knives, difference to the price. Um, Wanna walk us through each knife? So this is President's Choice. You get that free with groceries, right? Yeah. So walk us through each knife and then we'll test them. Next. This is a Jamie Oliver. Okay. This is the rock. It has fake pebbling. This is a global nice Japanese knife. It has these little slots so nothing sticks mm -hmm. to it. Same with the President's Choice and Jamie Oliver. Next. Next is the Choi. Masashi Koi. Yeah. Okay. So it's a um, hand forged? Yeah. Handmade. Then we have the Ruana. Ruana? That's. Where's that made? Montana. Montana. That's an American knife versus Japanese. Next. What kind of steel is this? What kind of steel is this? Damascus? Yeah. You say Damascus. that? Let's see the edge. Um, it's nice. It's Damascus mist. Edge. So in Japanese it means mist. Yeah. And the last one? Carbon. Is, this is a which blade? It's carbon. High carbon blade. Yeah. yeah, and it's real pebbling. And this is, this chart is from Low price to high price. Okay. Let's see how they work. So first we're going with the pre president's choice. So, with an orange. How is it? No. Oh. How many slices was that? Three. Okay. Lay them down. Now we're trying with the potato. How does that feel? It doesn't feel very nice. It feels kind of sandy and it doesn't get all the skin off. Okay. Next, Jamie Oliver. Next is the Jamie Oliver. It has a has the edge weight feel? to it. So it's not very sharp, I can feel. Um, where's the balance point? Balance point. Come forward a little. Come forward a little. Maybe here? Right around here. Mm, is it? Is it even further up? Okay. It's a good balance point. Medium point. I Baseball grip. around here. Okay. Not bad, right? So it's the orange. Three, okay. but that's bigger, so this would probably take two. Okay. Let's see the next one. Who's and next on your list? It Pretty feels tough. very hard. Yeah. Okay, how thick's the spine? Medium, like a German thickness. Okay. Next. Then now we see the rock. Fake pebbling. I used to think this was a very, very nice knife, but comparing to the other knives, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> it's okay. So, it Do you notice the difference between that and the Jamie Oliver? Yes, it's better, but it just feels. Okay, let's try the orange. Very good. Orange. Two. Two strokes instead of three. And that's bigger than Jamie okay. Oliver. Very cool. Let's try the next one. The next one's a, what they call a, a hybrid Japanese. A global Japanese. That's a ceramic. So ceramic steel. So, so the weight. So this knife is actually, how many pieces of metal does this look like? Oh, oh it's okay. How many pieces? Looks like a lot. It's actually three pieces. So huh? they, they weld on the two caps onto the center tang and they actually put a, a sand in to 
give it the perfect balance so it should be balance perfectly should balanced be right, there. right there at the point so you can see that so global's not it global's a great knife that's what um a lot of chefs use because they so clean one. up so much. okay let's see and slice okay. Let, let's go this way let's go this way so we don't have a rocking right we're not yeah. rocking we're flat what do you think it feels nice I would definitely cook with this. Okay. It's really nice. It's a nice knife. Good size? Yeah, a good size for smaller people. Smaller like, hands? Smaller hands, yeah. Sure, okay. It has a nice grip texture. I can feel it's definitely sharper than the Rock, Jamie Oliver, and President's Choice. Okay, lay them down. Lay them down. What's next? What's next is the as the koi. Okay, flip them over. Okay, what's this guy? I can definitely feel it's really, really sharp. Okay, and this is a handmade Japanese? Yep, yeah, handmade Japanese. Newly bought. Okay, don't cut yourself. How's this? Let's see One it. slice. Let's see this, let's see this again. Slice. Slice, it feels amazing. I cook with this every day. What's the name of this blade? This is a Masashi... Koi. Masashi Koi. Okay, just lay him down. Now, what do we have next? We have the... Ruana. 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 A little bit of patina on the blade. hunting knife. Look how thick that blade is. Thick and chunky. It's thing. pretty thick. It's... A hunting knife made Quality in hunting Montana. Knife. Let's see the let's see the handle. It's a pretty That's comfortable nice handle. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. It's very choppy. It is. It's a little more not as delicate, hey? Yeah, I would say. I like how you turn the blade around. Why do you do that? So it doesn't dollen up the knife. Okay, so you use the back of the blade to yeah, move stuff. Yeah, most. Cooks and people use the front of the blade, but I like to use the spine. Cool. Very good tip. Okay, next, what do you have here? What kind of blade is this? Next, this is... Careful. Duh. Duh. What is it? Damascus? Damascus? Yeah, Damascus. So Damascus. So this Damascus is 27 blade. layers of steel. Yeah. Folded. It's a mist. Um, in Japanese, it's uh, yeah, it's called a mist. And I really okay. love these two. They're grit. They're handles. Let's see how this works. What the, what's this one made for? Um, this one's for fruits and veggies. Veggies. Just like okay. the koi. Okay. Let's be careful with that. Okay. Are we are we pulling or pushing on that one? Pushing. Let's see a push. Ah, that's no. Pull. No. Wow, like butter. Like butter. Okay, what do you have next, bud? It feels amazing. What do you have next? Be careful with this guy. What's this guy? This is fiber, real pebbling. Nothing like the rock. The rock is not very... Can we show good. the rock next to that? You can tell. This one's a lot nicer. I love the grip on this. The pebbling is way nicer. The blade, so this is a, again, a three-folded hard yeah. carbon steel blade here with um, some... actually folded in between on either side is a, really a softer need... steel that will not rust. So if high carbon need... steel will rust, but you can see high carbon steel is a um, fantastic edge. So this should keep its edge if for... You really so you keep its edge for how long? Three, one and a half, uh, one and a half years? Three years if you take care of it a lot. Okay. So, so, let's see how this, careful so on that edge, careful on that edge. There will be a little bit of blue if you take care of it amazingly. Patina. Yeah. But not rust. It's called okay. a patina. So, where's the balance point on that knife? Balance point is here. Yeah, and what do you call this grip? You're holding it. Um. Is that a baseball grip? No. It's a pinch? Pinch grip. Pinch grip. Okay. Why is it using a pinch grip on this knife? Um, so that's where the balance point is? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what this does with an apple. So 
So this is a high-end Japanese knife. You picked this out yourself today, hey? Yeah. Is that a push or a pull? A pull. It's a pull, okay. Just the shape of the blade, okay. It feels amazing, but with the carbon, it rusts, so you really need to just wipe it down every time that you use it. Okay. So if I go like this. Look how you're holding the knife there. Why are you holding the knife like that with your knuckles? How do you, look. Why are you holding the knife like that with your knuckles? Like this. You're holding them like this. Right? Why? So, why I'm holding the apple? Yeah. Like this? So, first, you need to make like this. Okay, yeah. And then. Owl. And then pull them in. Owl, pull them in, claw. Nice. And you Beautiful. need to touch the blade. You need to touch it. Okay. Do you twist that blade? Yeah. No. Okay. So, if you lay your blades back in order, I want your review. What do you think, Marsh? Look at me. I would say. What do I you think? think? From the Jamie it's Oliver sweet. PC to the Rock, Heritage Rock. So uh, the the factory manufactured global. The handmade Japanese. One to ten. The handmade American. The Damascus, and then the high carbon steel Japanese knife. Um, say one to ten. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Eight. I'm not a fan of that. It's kind of too thick, eh? Yeah. Ten. Nine. Five. Four. No. Two. One and a half. Okay, so all you would do is you would switch these and this. So this is your rating system. Yep. It's yeah. my rating. So you're a fan of the Japanese handmade? Actually, I like this a oh, little okay, bit more okay. than okay. this. this Maybe right. because of the size? Yeah. It this one's still the best good though, hey? size. That one's like cow for cows. This one's for fruit, veggies. This is I kind of an all-around kitchen yeah, knife? Yeah. But usually you... This is all, these are the three that you need. You don't need any of these other ones. Okay. These, so these usually three should just have three knives and these are the ones. Okay. So these three are handmade custom. Yeah. I'd Global is also a very high quality knife, but yep. it's kind of factory made. Yeah. The Ruana is a hunting knife, so it's really not in the same category yeah, as a kitchen knife. It's, it's if, not very smooth. Yeah. It's kind of sandy. It's not in the same category so I'm yeah. sure if we were skinning a deer this would come out in front yeah these three here are kind of mass produced factories so we have the Canadian Tire Heritage Rock which the pebbling is trying to reproduce a high-end pebbling but um, like these, these really two thick. here are um, yeah, you kind of get them free when you buy so many groceries yeah, so President's buy... Choice Jamie Oliver yeah, overall yes. overall Marsh do you get what you pay for yeah okay bye guys